The Man Cave Cody build is a powerful build that not only does a great job of running on lower power devices, but also has a very neat live TV section that seems to work better than other builds. Before installing this build of Man Cave Cody, the developers advise you to do a fresh install of Cody. So, to begin, normal installation as always for a build, but I'll run you through it. From home, go up to the settings button, go down to file manager, click on add source to the left, double click on none, and you're going to type http colon forward slash forward slash mancavecody.com forward slash cody forward slash and click OK. Double click where it says Cody. You can name it whatever you want. You can even leave it Cody, doesn't matter. Just remember what you name it. Click on OK and go back home. Click on Add ons. Click on the File Explorer at the top. Click Install from Zip File. Find whatever you named it. Double click on wizard and find plugin.programs.mancave. Wait for it to install. It might take a bit. Once you get the install notification to the top right, you should get this pop up. Click on dismiss. And you should have this pop up underneath of it. Just click continue. It doesn't really matter. And the final pop up should pop up. Click build menu. These Krypton builds should pop up. You can choose whatever you want. There is Man Cave XL Family and there's Man Cave XL Adult as well as a light version for less powered machines such as a Raspberry Pi. In this case, I'm going to choose Man Cave XL Family. Click Fresh Install and click Continue. Now it needs to download. This could take a while. This is significantly sped up. It could take 10, 15 minutes. Just be patient. Don't click anywhere. It'll stop the download. and you should load into the build. So for movies, pretty much the same thing, all the same add-ons you come to expect. Going to TV shows, again, all the same add-ons. For this build, for both TV shows and movies, if you click the up arrow, you'll get the most popular list. If you click the down arrow, you can get to all the most popular add-ons. Going into kids and family, again, you click the up arrow, most popular list pops up. You click the down arrow, you can go into your add-ons. As well as if you click enter either on movies or TV, it'll bring you into the add-ons list there as well. This is the iView TV guide. I'll go into more detail as it's something I haven't covered before, but it looks exactly like a guide on either cable or satellite. You can scroll through and it has live feed of most TV shows, whatever that station is airing. So there's the Cleveland show, things like Ramsey's Kitchen, Super Casino. It has actually a fair amount of stations. Uh, some of them you've never heard before. Some of them are pretty common, like Food Network Discovery. Uh, I'm scrolling down quickly here to get to the sports channel, but you can kind of see what's available. There's Cartoon Network, stuff like that. Like pretty much every station that you would come to expect on regular cable, you can probably find it on iView. Now I'm into the sports section, going past sports section into the major TV networks, Fox US, PBS. So let's choose something to watch. I go into AMC US here, I click a feed. Uh, the first one's usually fine. It'll load for a couple seconds and it should load into a live viewing of whatever AMC is playing. In this case, it's Breaking Bad. Mike. Tags it out of here, click escape and exit guide. Back to the main here, we have a live TV section. Sports, DC Sports, Deliverance Sports, Music, Fitness. Going into the apps, this is where the music add-ons, video add-ons are, the add-on browser, how you get to programs. 
under system, all the regular stuff, file manager, skin settings, profiles, advent logs, power, how to turn the system off, reboot, favorites, super favorites, uh, the main man cave wizard, maintenance section, add-on installer, the builds, and back to movies. So as you can see, this build is pretty powerful. It should be able to take care of most people's needs. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you found this video useful, I'd love it if you left a comment or liked the video. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.